Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. As you were learning inverse Laplace transformation and we have already learned how to solve some basic type of numericals based upon the inverse Laplace transformation. Now uh, these lectures are very important because this in this lecture I am going to solve a numerical which will which is based upon the concept of partial fraction. As you can see as I have already told you that the whenever we come to face any numerical problem based upon the inverse Laplace transformation we have to look for the denominator first. So, so you can see here we have here linear factors in the denominator. So this is a type of partial fraction type question uh, which is included in inverse Laplace transformation. So without any further delay let's get started. So guys, our very first step is to look for the denominator and I have already mentioned that these are three linear factors. So here we have to split the split the numerator into different terms and how we can do this we are going to apply the concept of partial fraction and if you guys haven't watched my series on partial fraction link is in the i section you can watch it on also in the description which when you find feasible you can go through that. So. I'm going to write here solution and we have here uh, p square plus 2p minus 3 upon p times p minus 3 p plus 2 and let's apply the concept of partial fraction. So in partial fraction we have here in denominator uh, we have three factors the three linear factors so we have to split it as a upon p plus b upon p minus 3 plus c upon p minus p plus 2. Now what we will do we will multiply these portion we, we, we are going to multiply each and every term with this portion with denominator we are going to do cross multiplication here but on only one side so we will write p square plus 2p minus 3 as it is so on multiplying this a by p with this much value p and p will get cancelled out so a will get multiplied with p minus 3 times p plus 2 simply b now we have already multiplied this portion with this much now we will multiply this whole with this value so p minus 3 will get cancelled out so b will get multiplied with p times p plus now c same is the case with c also c we are going to multiply this whole with this much so p plus 2 will get cancelled out so we will have here c times p times p minus 3 okay now what we will do we will we have to find the value of a b and c how we can do this c here first of all we have to choose a number we have to assume a value of p as some uh, constant like if we assume p equals to 3 so, uh, we have to assume the value in such a way that other we will have only one variable to find out and all the other variables will become zero okay so like we uh, we are about to find the value of uh, c suppose so for that reason what we will do we have to make these two portion zero how we can do this zero if we assume p equals to minus 2 if if p equals to minus 2 so if we have p equals to minus 2 2 so it this portion will get converted to 0 if we put the value of p here equal p equals to minus 2 this will uh, become 0 so on multiplying 0 with any number this whole will become 0 simply we if we have assumed p equals to minus 2 again so p equals to minus 2 2 on multiplying this whole will become 0 but here some portion will some value will still remain here so we have assumed our step 1 is we have assumed p equals to minus 2 so substitute the value of p in this equation let this be equation 1 and substitute the value so minus 2 square is 4 and plus 2 times minus 2 minus 3 equals to we have substituted p equals to minus 2, 2 so this will get 0 plus uh, again p equals to minus 2 so this will get 0 plus c times minus 2 times minus 2 and minus 3 is minus 5 okay so on solving this we will have here 
4 minus 4 is 0 so minus 3 equals to c times minus 10 okay so we have got this minus and minus will get plus 10 so from here we will have c equals to minus 3 upon 10 now again if p equals to 0 we can take 0 also if we take g, g p equals to 0 so this portion this portion will become 0 and we uh, will be able to find the value of a so if we take p equals to 0 so what changes are going to happen in equation 1 c we put p equals to 0 so this portion is 0 this portion is 0 so we on lhs we will have minus 3 equals to 0 and a times minus 3 times p equals to 0 so 0 minus 3 is minus 3 and p plus 2 means 0 plus 2 is 2 and p 0 times this portion whole becomes 0 p 0 times this portion whole becomes 0 so 0 and plus 0 now from here we will be, we'll be able to calculate the value of a equals to 1 upon 2 i hope you are getting my points now we will proceed further uh, we we will consider one more value once again if p equals to here it is minus 3 and if we assume that p equals to 3 if we assume p equals to 3 then what changes we will be able to make in equation 1 see here 3 square is going to be 9 plus 2 times 3 is going to be 6 and minus 3 equals to this 3 minus 3 is 0 so the whole portion becomes 0 and p equals to 3 minus 3 is 0 so this portion becomes 0 and we will be able to calculate the value from here that is 3 times uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 okay so on lhs we will have 9 plus 6 15 minus 3 is 15 minus 3 is 12 equals to uh, b times 3 times 5 3 times 4 so from here we will have b equals to uh, 4 upon 5 now we will have here we ha will have here p square plus 2p minus 3 upon p times p minus 3 times p plus 2 is equal to a a a value is 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 times 1 upon p plus b value b value is 4 upon 5 so 4 upon 5 times 1 upon p minus 3 plus c c value is minus so minus 3 upon 10 times 1 upon p plus 2 now inverse laplace transformation of p square plus 2p minus 3 upon p times p minus 2 sorry p minus 3 and p plus 2 will be equal to 1 by 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p okay plus 4 upon 5 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p minus 3 minus 3 upon 10 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p plus 2 now you already know the formulas like uh, inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p is 1 so 1 upon 2 times 1 i have already mentioned all the formula in the previous lectures uh, 4 upon 5 times 1 upon p minus 3 p minus 3 means here it is minus means it is going to be in exponential form so e to the power 3t minus 3 by 10 times e to 1 upon p minus 2 means e to the power minus 2t now we have got the value and this is our final answer let's see one more example on this concept so here we have a question in which uh, the question is 2p square minus 4 upon p plus 1 p my times p minus 2 times p minus 3 so once again i have written solution here and we have here we have to split the numerators into different portion because we have three different linear factors in the denominator that is p plus 1 p minus 2 and p minus 3 so what we will do here we are going to use again once again the concept of partial fraction and we are going to rewrite it as a upon p plus 1 plus b upon p minus 2 plus c upon p minus 3 
so let's move to next step and in next step what we will do we have to do the cross multiplication here so 2p square minus 4 equals to now a times here we are we are going to multiply we are doing going to do cross multiplication means this denominator is going to multiply each and every terms of rhs means we are going to multiply a upon p plus 1 with p plus 1 times p minus 2 times p minus 3 so on doing so on lhs a will get p plus 1 p plus 1 will get cancelled out so we will have here a times p minus 2 p minus 3 similarly we have b times p minus 2 will get cancelled out so p plus 1 times p minus 3 plus c times c times what we will have here p minus 3 will get cancelled out so p plus 1 times p minus 2 now from here we will have 2p square leave it up to here now what we will have we need to do we have to find the value of a b and c how we can do this i have already mentioned in the previous video also and i am going to repeat once once again in this video also and i have also taught you in the my series on partial fraction you can also watch it so once again we have to make maximum zero maximum expression we are convert going to convert them to zero how we can convert suppose we are going to take the value of p equals to positive 2 so this portion and this portion will get converted into zero so let's assume if p equals to 2 we are taking p equals to 2 so on uh, lhs we will have here 2 times 2 square means 4 times 2 8 minus 4 is going to be 4 equals to here this portion gets cancelled out this whole portion becomes 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 multiply with any term will get converted to 0 plus b times 2 plus 1 is 3 times 3 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus c times this portion again becomes 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0 so 0 multiply with any number gets 0 so from here we will have 4 equals to b times minus 3 therefore b equals to minus 4 upon 3 now let's move to next term so once again let's take p equals to 3 if we take p equals to positive 3 then this portion and this portion will get converted to 0 and we will be able to calculate the value of c so if p equals to 3 on taking p equals to 3 we will have here 3 square means 9 times 2 is 18 minus 4 is 14 equals to uh, 0 0 and from here we will have c and 3 plus 4 and 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 1 from this portion okay from here we will have c equals to 14 upon 4 2 7 times 2 2 times to so c equals to 7 upon 2 we have one more constants value remaining that is a so how we can do this see here we need to make we if we take p equals to p equals to minus 1 p equals to minus 1 so this and this portion will become 0 so from here we will be able to calculate the value of a so if p equals to minus 1 we will have here minus 1 square is 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2 equals to uh, minus 1 means a times minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 times minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 so from here we will have uh, minus 2 equals to a times 2 well so 2 6 times so a equals to minus 1 upon 6 a equals to minus 1 upon 6 now substitute the value in equation 1 so from here we will have implies 2 p square minus 4 upon p plus 1 times p minus 2 times p minus 3 equals to a in val and value of a is minus 1 upon 6 6 times p plus 1 okay plus b value of p is minus 4 by 3 so minus 4 by 3 times 1 upon p minus 2 and c value of c is plus 7 by 2 times c value is 7 by 2 times 1 upon p minus 
थ्री ओके सो इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू पी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर अपॉन पी प्लस वन पी माइनस टू पी माइनस थ्री विल बी गिवेन बाय माइनस वन बाय सिक्स टाइम्स इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन पी प्लस वन माइनस फोर बाय थ्री टाइम्स इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन पी माइनस टू प्लस सेवन बाय टू टाइम्स इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन पी माइनस थ्री ओके सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल हैव माइनस वन अपॉन सिक्स नाउ यूज द इनवर्स फॉर्मूला हेयर वी हैव इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वन बाय पी माइनस ए p minus a means e to the power here it is sorry 1 by p plus a so here it is positive so we will write it as e to the power minus a means 1 and t minus 4 by 3 times 1 by p minus 2 p minus 2 means e to the power 2t plus 7 by 2 times e to the power 3t and this is our final answer and i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and in the upcoming lecture we will discuss about some different concept uh, related to inverse laplace transformation do share this video with your friend and subscribe the civil learning online youtube channel